Barnes and Leslie. Good morning. Welcome to the Friday show. Hey, we are lining up people to talk to a casting director and not just any casting director. This is a big one. Raven Drummer, the head of Tyler Perry Studios, will be on with us taking your questions. You want to get in the business? How do you do this? How do you do that? How do you make this happen? Send your questions. Hi at themorningx.com. H-I at themorningx.com. We're getting them lined up. Right now it's Sleaze with Fram. Well, this is kind of a nightmare, Barnes. Two untamed series announced at the same time. Two untamed? Yeah. You got Sarah Paulson and Eric Bana. Not making a new television series together. They just both are starring in two different shows called Untamed. What? How does that happen? Yeah, the Hollywood Reporter published this article about Sarah teaming up with former Grey's Anatomy producer for a series called Untamed. And then at the exact same time, Variety published an article about Eric Bana starring in a Netflix limited series titled Untamed. So I guess wow. in this day, they're keeping everything under wraps. Like, even when you get auditions, they don't even say the name of the show sometimes. And, that's, and this is at that expense. So now you've got two big shows. Yeah. Well, you know, the one with Sarah Paulson, it's an adaptation of that huge book by Glennon Doyle. And then Eric Bana's just like an original series where he's playing a special agent for the National Parks Service. But let's see what happens there. I mean... What a nightmare. I seriously think it's a nightmare. Now... I have to ask you something. You know, you. I know that sometimes you have to go and do auditions and things like that. What if your audition, Barnes, was to do an audio book for Pope Francis? I would never pull it off. I, I, how would you? <laughs> well, guess who's doing it? Stephen Colbert landed what? a very high-profile, high-pressure gig. He is narrating the audio book for Pope Francis. What? It's called Life, My Story Through History. He's uh, set to narrate a six-hour audiobook alongside Franciscan friar and priest John Quigley. Wow. What a, what a random casting. Yeah, the Pope said he did this book so that people, especially younger people, can listen to the voice of an elderly person and reflect on what our planet has experienced so as not to repeat the mistakes of the past. That is rand. I mean, but I just thought of all the people. It's kind of random. Stephen Colbert. Now, we previously told you about the Hollywood insiders speaking out out in the wake of Drake Bell's accusations of mistreatment of child actors on the set in uh, kids' television shows, including the studio that produced the former child actors series, Drake and Josh, and the show's creator, Dan Schneider. Fans and followers have noticed one person who has strangely stayed quiet in the aftermath of this, Quiet on the Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV, and that's Bell's co-star, Josh Peck. They're not happy about it either. Now, he hasn't spoken out on Bell's accusations or allegations, but Barnes, he released... Why does everybody go to TikTok? He released an odd TikTok video, and fans have just flown into the comment section, your silence speaks volumes, bro. What do you think of this? If I haven't talked to you since 2023, take that as a sign that you don't exist to me anymore. Bug, you got sprayed with the raid. Bye. See you in that burp. So he's lip syncing to that video? He's lip syncing to that. And then Drake Bell shared that his Drake and Josh co-star, Josh Peck, has reached out to him offering support, of course, after he revealed that he was abused Tuesday, the day after the second part of the docuseries was released, Bell decided to also take to TikTok to ask fans to take it a little easy on Josh Peck. But he has reached out to uh, uh, to talk with me and, and help me work through this and, and uh, has been really, really great. So I uh, just wanted to let you guys know that and to uh, take it a little easy on him. What the hell is going on with that story? And everybody's going to TikTok to make their comments. It's it's super twisted. What a trip. Have you been following the uh, Megan Fox Machine Gun Kelly news? Ish. I, she confirmed yeah. that the one-time engagement between the pair is no longer a thing. Here's Megan Fox. Isn't that on and off? Hasn't that happened over and over again? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't have a comment on, like, the status of the relationship per se. What I can say is that is what I refer to as being my twin soul. And there will always be a tether to him no matter what. I I can't say for sure what the capacity will be, but I will always be connected to him somehow. Mm -hmm. 
Beyond that, I'm not willing to explain. I think she just got out of yoga. Can I give you her plastic surgery update before we end? Yes. Yeah, well, she was on that Call Her Daddy podcast. Yeah, over the years, she's had her boobs done recently for a third time to look like, are you ready for this, a 1990s stripper. She's also had a nose job and filler, but denies ever getting a facelift or liposuction. Good job. There's your update on Megan Fox. And that's your celebrity sleaze.